Hello everyone, I'm back. It's the third day in a row and the sun's making me squint a little bit, I'm trying not to. But we're back in the backyard. I've got some bee boxes here. You might be like, oh no, stay away from the bees, you might get stung, but um, these bee boxes are all empty. Uh, last year, springtime coming into to spring, all of our bees in our backyard had died off. Um, and my dad has a few hives up there and they all died as well. So we didn't have any bees this summer except for dad um, accidentally caught a swarm in one of his hives and uh, so we have that one colony up at his house. He said it's flying today. Um, it's almost 70 degrees outside and so I thought we'll go up there, check them out, see if they have some food still. I'm going to go through the boxes that aren't uh, full of bees and see if there's any honey in those. And then after that, check them out, give them some food, and then come back here. These boxes, let's see if we can take a look in one of them. These boxes all have comb in them, but, um, well, some of them are going to be kind of nasty. Uh, this one actually isn't too bad, um, but some of them have what they call uh, wax moth in them. They go into a, a moth will go in and lay their larva and uh, or their eggs and then the larva hatches and it goes through and eats where the the bees laid their eggs and where their uh, larva comes out as bees um, yeah you can see in this kind of like molded in there and stuff so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna scrape all of that old comb out um, clean them all up and then put new paint some wax on the plastic foundation and then the bees will make honeycomb on that. So what we're going to do is once uh, spring comes and the hives, the bees start to to really build up, we'll split that colony and uh, make two colonies out of it. They'll make another queen and uh, we'll start building back up. We're not going to, we had like 18 colonies here and five at dad's. We're probably going to get up to like six or eight. I don't know. I don't want to get huge. Um, so that way we could take better care of it. Um, I'm in my little building out behind my house, which is a mess. Um, but I've got a bunch of bee boxes back there that, if I can get the camera right, um, that are all pretty cleaned up and ready to go. Uh, there's my archery target there. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to attempt to get everything cleaned up today so that it's ready for when spring starts the bees flying and the, um, the bees repopulating and we'll be able to start doing some splits and I'll show you a little bit about some of that and uh, you'll learn a little bit about bees here or there. Um, let's see, I do see something back here. So this is a frame and you can see it's just, it looks like honeycomb but it's really just plastic. Uh, it has some wax on it and uh, but no comb was built out on this particular one. So Anyways, um, that's what we got to do to all of them, get them all cleaned off, and then put some wax back on with a paintbrush. We'll have to melt the wax down and uh, get them all prepped for later on. We're going to take some, some uh, dry sugar and maybe some sugar water. I'm going to get the smoker around and some other things. Then we're going to head up and check out the colony that's up there. It's a little windy today. Um, it's almost 70, but um, it's windy, and the the bees won't like that very much, and the uh, it's, it's raining off and on, so it's not the best day to get into a bee box. So I'm getting ready to head up to my dad's uh, to check on those bees. Um, grabbing a couple of things. I've got, so I'll show you over here. I've got some uh, wood chips over here. Um, that I put in my smoker and get that started and then I will put some wood pellets in on top of that uh, get it going really good and then shut it down and I'll show you um, so that it'll start smoking I used to use let's see right here some Valentine down south they use pine needles and things like that that they can get easily made it to my parents house this is the bees that they're in the second box from the left I got the smoker, I've got 
get some wood chips in there and a little starter fluid. Get that thing going. Got my dad over here hiding from the camera. It's pretty windy up here. They're probably not going to like me getting in there. But I'm not planning on being in there long. I brought some sugar and some paper to put on top and pour the sugar in for them to eat. And here's my father. Yes, we uh, lost all of our bees. I don't know if you'd like to declare that, but we lost all of our bees two years ago. And I was standing out here working on my dozer last summer. And I, the day before, I said, Lord, I wouldn't mind having at least one hive. And I heard this buzzing. I looked up, and here they came right through me. Several thousand bees right to the hive and right in. The easiest capture we ever had. That's right. So, anyways, we're going to... I'm going to get up there and check it out, see if there's any honey in any of the other boxes that I can give to them and just see what they have. Um, but try not to be in there too much because that'll get them worked up. They'll start to try to sting and and uh, if they sting, they die and we don't want them to die. So um, we'll just get this smoker going and check out this situation here in a little bit. Well, the other thing is that we uh, lost the bees due to our own neglect we should have treated them that fall and we did not do it so this particular hive we did treat once and they have survived through the winter so we learned a very hard lesson right and we've we've treated other ones before they um they can get very different important. mites um varroa mites a big issue um Brachial mites and so they the varroa mite was probably the issue uh, use uh acid that's normally found in vegetation and uh, you use that and it you've got to treat them every once a week for three or four weeks um, and I mean, we'll get in that maybe in another video but it didn't happen that that year we didn't treat like we should have and uh, we ended up well the bees ended up paying the price for it and it's too bad and uh, so we're gonna try our best to do better with these ones well, I'm up here checking everything out. Uh, I'm trying to find some honey. And you can see all this has been robbed out. They're all empty. There's no honey in any of these uh, frames. Um, actually, no, this is all robbed out and all empty. It's all empty. So, um, some of them. Um, this one looks the same. Actually, there might be a, a mouse hanging out in that one. Um, let's check this here. I think we're going to be in the same boat on this one. Um, yeah, this one is a... You can see that's like old pollen. That's where the brood chambers were. Uh, the brood all hatched out and then... Anyways, these are these boxes. This has got some honey here. Nothing great. Don't know if it's worth giving to them. There's a lot of sugar in there, actually. Just dry it up. Uh, it's not looking any better. Anyways, I'm just kind of going through all these boxes. Dad's working on starting the tractor, but the, the glow plugs don't really want to do the job. And that one's all moldy and nasty, so... Nothing for help for them for there. So we'll check this last one. They're in this one with a green lid. I don't really want to mess with that. Um, and this one, I would guess, I would guess that looks like a mouse or a squirrel's nest in there. Oh, I hear the tractor starting to fire it up. Let's try it. Come on, baby. The plan is to there she goes. So, plan is putting a, a pallet. We've got a, we got a pallet right down here behind us. And uh, we're going to put that pallet on the tractor, lift it up on the top here, and I'm going to grab all these boxes. Mouse nest in here. And there's nothing good in there. So, we're going to put all these boxes on that pallet.
Well, that works a lot easier. So we got the four other hives off of here. This is just uh, this is just dry sugar. You don't want to give them sugar water uh, during the winter time. So I'm going to open this up and uh, I'm going to take that piece of paper right there. It's parchment paper, I believe, for cooking. Um, you can use newspaper too, but I just had that in the kitchen. And uh, can take that and uh, I'm going to put it right on the top of the frames in this box and pour sugar on top of it so it'll give them something to eat. Um, here's me and my, my bee suit. Uh, I don't have my bee gloves on. I got to go pick them up over here in the weeds. I dropped them on the way up here when I came up, uh, jumped the bank over here. I'm going to put a little bit of smoke in the opening of the box. The smoke just kind of lets them think there's a fire and they'll kind of, but they'll kind of start eating the the honey a little bit if they have any and, and but hopefully it'll also kind of disorient them and make them not want to sting but they may still want to especially I mean we're supposed to get 30 degree weather tomorrow um, and uh, it's supposed to get like I said pretty chilly right now it's windy there's a front coming in and or through and it might have them a little on edge um, Dad said they were flying pretty good earlier. I can hear them and see them. Couple right on the lid. I'm gonna try to not be too quick. And uh, I'm sure it's not the cleanest, nicest box in here. Um, I can feel that the comb is kind of stuck. Come on, girl, get over here. Come on. Oh, that one might have got a little too cold. We'll see what they look like. They're a little buzzy. Yep. We don't want to keep it open too long. So I'm going to stick this paper right here. They're starting to get a little nervous. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Try to be quick here, just to give them some sugar, like I said. That's the game plan. So I got, they're climbing down in, trying to protect everybody, and I get it. Here we go. They're a little nervous, and we're gonna pour this sugar right here for them. Hopefully, they're down with it. I'm kind of blowing smoke on myself right now. Now we're going to get that lid back on so that they're not... They don't like this bag, you see. They like the sugar. Let's to figure out what it is. Right now, they have no clue. top on and then kind of push that sugar down in and then bubble it out a little bit. I've got other lids that are feeder lids and I didn't bring one up. The girls are all right. Just trying to deter them. I'm gonna put this top back on. We're gonna leave them alone. Now I know they got something to eat. Everybody's okay. Hopefully everybody's gonna make it back in. This is the smarter, work smarter, not harder situation. We didn't always do it this way. Usually, always the harder way, but we got equipment, or dad's got equipment now. So, it works out a lot easier. It's a little windy out. So I don't know how much noise it's making. Oh baby. Oh yeah. Looks good. Alright, we got the truck back to the house with 
all the boxes and we got these boxes over here and we're gonna bring them over and around and it's pretty much a mess back here but we're gonna take them into the barn and start to scrape them and run it out of daylight because my dad wanted to talk about uh, how awesome my YouTube videos are <laughs> maybe not but we were talking about it and said hey what the heck we got some time let's have some fun so I think he wants to make YouTube videos too we'll see Anyways, so I'm going to empty these or move these boxes into the shop and start scraping them and hopefully get some wax on them tonight and upload a video. So we'll see. Better put it in fast forward. That's all of them. Let's see how many we did. Sorry about the dizziness. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. I think 32 or 33. Anyways, I don't know if I'll get them all scraped tonight, but we'll start on them and uh, just show you how to put the wax over them. Then we'll throw a couple of videos in from a year and a half ago or so with some bees that we had gotten into and I think one that was kind of wanting to swarm and uh, some checking for the queen and some things like that. Oh, there's Brenna. No. There's Brenna. No. She's running away. Everybody, that's that's Brenna. Yeah. She's She is not giving consent for that, but she'll probably make it. She's going to be a YouTube sensation. So I'm going to bring some of these out and probably not going to do all of them on video, but I'm going to get a bunch of them just to look at and I'll scrape a few of them out and then maybe I'll get to the next part of it. It's pretty windy out, kind of nasty and well, it looks like a bunch of dust blowing off of my step ladder that I'm using for my, my tripod. It's kind of wobbly too, so you might get dizzy. All right, so let's see what we got. So I figured this one looked like the worst of the bunch. So I'm gonna pull that one out. common name for this particular tool is called a hive tool, which I guess works pretty good for a name for a tool that you work in the beehives with. That's disgusting. So these are wax moth larvae. They should be dead. Well, that's the cocoon. Anyways, actually, if you look, let me see if I get it in a look from the back. Oh, all right, let's see here. That right there is a wax moth. And that right there is a dead wax moth larva. They get in there and they like to eat. You can see actually, they've got tunnels dug right through here. And I know it's pretty gross. Um, they go through, this is where the queen lays her eggs. It's called the brood chamber. And they like to eat the chrysalis, I guess. They won't really get into your honey very much, but they'll get into that and they'll tear a box up. If uh, if you don't have bees in there, the bees will pull the wax moth out. But if your bee colony is weak or gone, then they will uh, get in there and make a, a huge mess. Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them you can see right up in here just little ones but that's they just go crazy in there and the whole box will be like that if there's nothing in there to save them um, another one right here. just all all that so take a bag take these here 
And I'm just gonna, I'm hoping this is not too wide, but it, it's just about perfect. And I'm just gonna scrape that all right out of there. All the edges. And uh, you can see they eat right into it. It's really a mess. Um, I got this little one here too. Um, but when it's cold enough, it kills them off. Some people will freeze them uh, in their freezer. Um, this in New York, I guess we got our own built-in freezer outside, so it takes care of it. Anyways, um, the hope is to never get them. But if you're a beekeeper, uh, even a great beekeeper, you will get them. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm not saying I'm a great beekeeper. I'm a newbie, a new beekeeper. Um, but it just shows you the first couple of years, I didn't really have any issues. Um, we had some dead, uh, die, uh, dead outs and stuff, but they, I don't know, we did all right getting control of it, but this, this last time was bad. And, just hard to hard to take. You don't want to lose all your bees. We had 18 colonies back here and five up at Dad's, and uh, none of them made it through the last year. And then we got that swarm um, that he caught up there that well found his boxes and decided they liked it. I've caught swarms before in years past. And it's a good way to get bees and you make good neighbors. Uh, since you, they feel like you rescued them from the attack of the bee swarm in their tree or whatever, get them out of their yard and protect them. And uh, so, anyways, that's pretty much that. Oh, there's a little bit there. So I'm gonna do that with all the frames. Make sure it's all cleaned up, and then uh, wax them back up. Maybe we'll throw it on on time lapse here, and but that's pretty much cleaned up. I also was cleaning up the the, pro, the propolis on the sides here. It's uh, like bee glue. They make it themselves, and they 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 uh, glue these frames right together, and they uh, they seal the boxes together too. You can see how that's all along there. So just we're gonna clean up the boxes and uh, clean up the frames and um, try to get some wax on these frames. I'm gonna dump this right out here and go right to town and uh, clean this box up while I'm at it. Let me see where my They're gross. The bees will clean them right. Up. Well, I'm cleaning them up now, and then we'll get the, the bees will do the rest of the work. One box done. Everything's pretty clean now. Um, they're gonna. This is a yellow foundation. This is a black foundation. Obviously, you know your colors. But <laughs> anyway, some of it still needs to get a little cleaned up. I'm not gonna show you every box. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of them. Maybe later today, tonight. It's like 6:20 right now, I think. So maybe get the rest of them. Tonight or tomorrow, I'm probably not going to show you the waxing of the foundations uh, this time around. Pretty much, I'm going to melt some wax, get a paintbrush, paint it on there. Um, the, the bees won't draw out the honeycomb or the comb without wax being on it. And you saw 
let's see here you saw what drawn out see this is a drawn out one that used to have honey in it i probably just cleaned that one out too um actually the, they robbed some of it out and it has some sugar in it you can see um where it had crystallized they didn't get it all before they took off or before they died off or whatever so anyways that is about this is a yellow frame yellow foundation that they drew the comb out and I don't know how well you can see it but they they draw the comb it already has a pre done design let's get right in there of a honeycomb in there for them and you put you put a wax on there and they draw it right out you can see how much deeper this is and they fill it up with honey or with uh, the queen of light eggs in there and we'll show you that stuff as we go along this is a little piece of nasty there anyways that's uh so these ones have been cleaned off I'm gonna wax them up so that they'll draw a comb back out in them and I've got I've got a lot more work to do and uh, but I won't bore you with it the, the fun of being a beekeeper so uh, I'm gonna go inside get a little cleaned up my granddaughter's in there with my oldest daughter Bailey so maybe we'll give you a little peek of her after I get cleaned up. Oh, I was going to mention my fancy pants here. That are, see, I don't mind them getting a little nasty, but Salvation Army is a great place to get your beware because you don't worry about it getting nasty and you can wash it up. And I got a couple patches here. It's a little thin. They've gotten me a couple times through my pant leg, but not lately. Anyways, all right. That's that. I'm going to head inside. So I made it inside, got cleaned up a little bit, still have the same clothes on, but got my hands washed and my lovely wife is working on corn chowder over here. She said she doesn't want to be on. So we'll just over the shoulder here, look at how awesome she cuts potatoes and she's smirking so potato corn chowder for dinner and then man, she's a hero she's got chicken what is it it's chicken burrito taco meat chicken burrito taco meat she's got in the crock pot for tomorrow for lunch dinner whatever we're gonna eat anyways so um, and then we got a sneak peek over here of this. My parents for Christmas for Joy did a um, redid our pantry. So this is it. Um, all the canning on the side here, all down through here. Uh, we got to put another shelf or two over on that side, and then all the other areas with storage up top and. We hadn't bought groceries for a couple weeks because we were working on the pantry and when everybody went crazy last Friday and went shopping and emptied all of the shelves in Wegmans, we hadn't bought groceries in like a week and a half and we were like, oh crap, we're not going to have any food except for the venison, the freezer and all the other stuff. If we had to make homemade bread, we would, but anyhow, we ended up going somewhere uh, on Sunday after church and the store was full and we were fine. So anyways, that's that and we're gonna get working on uploading the video but I'm gonna walk into this room over here and show you a picture or not a picture a fish on the wall. This uh, is a king salmon my daughter Bailey caught in Alaska when she was I think 10. How old was she Brielle? 11 she was 11 so anyways that's the fish on the wall and uh tomorrow's plan is some older videos not from when bailey was 11 but when she was 18 catching some fish in alaska so uh i'm gonna sneak in here no i'm not because bailey is in the rocking chair with the baby and Brenna is over there saying no, don't video me, even though secretively she loves it. 
so anyway, that's the plan. And Sunday, what are we doing Sunday, Joy? Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Are you going to make it? Look at you're getting a little bit of time. Tomato sauce. How to from the beginning to the end. Homemade tomato sauce. We're going to show you how to use the squeezo to puree it. We're going to show you how to do all the other things and then even how to can spaghetti sauce. It might not be a recipe that you like, but it's the one we like and we're out, so why not? All right. Love y'all. Hope you're having fun with our YouTube, uh, what is it called? I don't know. Our YouTube uh, adventure. How about that? Um, have we've had some different reviews. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Some people say I need a haircut. Some people say grow it longer. I'm just trying to save money. Um, even though my sister-in-law cuts it for free, but I'm saving money on razors cause I'm not cutting that either. All right. Y'all have a great one. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one.